No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that human affairs would be watched from the timeless worlds of space. No one could have dreamed that we were being scrutinized as some of the microscopes studies creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. Few men even consider the possibility of life on other planets and yet, across the gulf of space, minds immeasurably superior to ours regard this earth with envious eyes and slowly and surely they drew their plans against us. At midnight on the 12th of August, a huge mass of luminous gas erupted from Mars and sped towards the Earth. Across 200 million miles of void, invisibly hurtling towards us, there were the first of the missiles that were to bring such calamity to the Earth. As I watched, there was another jet of gas. It was another missile starting on its way. And that's how it was for the next 10 nights. A flare spurting out from Mars bright green drawn a green mist behind its a beautiful but somehow disturbing sight. Ogilvy the astronomer assured me we were in no danger. He was convinced that there could be no living thing on that remote forbidden planet. Nothing at all. Then came the night the first missile approached Earth. It was thought to be an ordinary falling star, but next day there was a huge crater in the middle of the common. An Ogilvy came to examine what lay there. A cylinder, 30 yards across glowing hot, and with faint sounds of movement coming from within. Suddenly, the top began moving, rotating, unscrewing. Ogilvy feared there was a man inside, trying to escape. He rushed to the cylinder, but the intense heat stopped him before he could burn himself on the metal. Yes, the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, but still, there you come. It seems totally incredible to me now that everyone spent that evening as though it were just like any other. From the railway station came the sound of shunting trains, ringing and rumbling, softened almost into melody by the distant sounds. It all seemed too safe and tranquil.